I'm kind of sarcastic. Not cynical, but sarcastic. I'm a goofy girl. I like to laugh, and I like to make other people laugh. Gal Gadot said about herself, Beautiful, persistent, talented. She'll easily put any man flat on his back. Looking at the actress, you can't even say that she's served in the army and gets real pleasure from filming in action movies. Her character became a kind of feminist manifesto and changed attitudes towards the position of a female superhero in the film industry. At the same time, the star of Wonder Woman says that she never planned to be an actress. So, how did she get into the film industry, and why did she stay there? What difficulties did she face to become a Wonder Woman? And what does she do besides acting? Welcome to the Biographer Channel. Take the goodies and get comfortable. We are starting. The Southern beauty Gal Gadot was born on April 30th, 1985 in the city of Rosh Hayyin in the Central District of Israel. The girl spent her entire childhood in Tel Aviv. Therefore, all the early memories of the future star are connected with this city. Gal's family was very educated. The father of the future star, Michael Gadot, worked as an engineer. Her mother, Ira Gadot, was a teacher. They were both born in Israel, but Gadot's parents were immigrants from Europe. After the invasion of the Nazi army, some of them ended up in a concentration camp where they died. So, one of the grandfathers, Abraham Weiss, was sent to Auschwitz as a teenager along with his mother and brother. Subsequently, they both died, and only he remained alive. Over time, Abraham immigrated to Israel. Gal recalled that her grandfather did not tell anything about Auschwitz for a long time. It was only at the end of his life that he told his family about all the horrors of what he had experienced in his youth. The tragic history of the family left a big imprint on the attitude of Gao's family to their roots. Later, she would tell that she grew up in a very strict Jewish family, and faith in Israeli identity became crucial for the formation of her worldview. I was brought up in a very Jewish Israeli family environment, so of course my heritage is very important to me, she said in an interview. I want people to have a good impression of Israel. I don't feel like I'm an ambassador for my country, but I do talk about Israel a lot. I enjoy telling people about where I come from, and my religion. After the wedding, Michael and Ira went through the assimilation process on their own initiative. They changed their surname Greenstein to Godot, which means riverbank. And when a girl was born in their family, her name was also chosen appropriately, Gal, which means wave. Godot grew up a very active girl. She had the opportunity to develop in different directions despite the traditional views of the family. Gao studied at a local special school where she chose a biology course. In addition, she was involved in several sports – basketball, volleyball, tennis, or swimming. She was also fond of dancing in the jazz and hip-hop directions up to the age of 12. She liked it so much that, for a while, she even dreamed of becoming a choreographer. I, I, and I, was, dan I was a dancer for many – I always enjoyed uh, the performing arts. But over time, preferences changed and the new goal became law. The future actress went to work as a teenager to get a little financial independence. Already at the age of 14, she worked with children, organizing a variety of classes, and later worked at a local Burger King restaurant. Already in her youth, Gal's bright appearance made her a target for casting managers of various modeling agencies. 18-year-old Godot decided to try herself for the sake of interest in the Miss Israel 2004 beauty contest, but she didn't consider this field seriously as a profession of the future. And she was very surprised when she became the winner. I was shocked when they crowned me, she recalled. This turn of events opened up new opportunities for the young beauty, and she was invited to become a participant in the large-scale Miss Universe contest. Gal went to the capital of Ecuador, but she was not among the finalists. And it was not because she couldn't. On the contrary, the young woman did everything to lose, as she later admitted in an interview with In Style. She was intentionally late for every event rejected the outfits offered to her, and refused to apply makeup. Godot was burdened with fame at a young age. She did not want to become a celebrity and attract the ubiquitous paparazzi. As a result, another woman got the beauty crown, and a satisfied gal went home. She later fulfilled her civic duty by serving in the Israel Defense Forces as a fitness-slash-combat readiness instructor. Gal does not regret it, and says that the army is important for mastering discipline and respect. She says of her time in the army, you give two or three years, and it's not about you. You give your freedom away for a while. You learn discipline and respect. The things I've been through as a soldier prepared me to deal with career things as well," she said. not about me. I'm not the center of the world or something very 
when you're 18 and you feel like the world, you know, surrounds you, the army shows you that it actually doesn't. But even while serving in the IDF, the beauty was not left alone by local and European modeling agencies. The Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs took advantage of the situation. It decided that thanks to the women of the Israeli army photo shoot, it would be able to improve the image of the Israeli army, especially against the background of the Lebanon war. As a result, Godot appeared in Maxim magazine lying in a bikini on the edge of a high-rise. The advertising campaign caused a lot of controversy, but the editorial board of the men's magazine noticed Godot. After two years, she reappeared in Maxim already as a Hollywood star. In the army, she also met her future husband. They met in the desert at a yoga party. Gao went to such events during her leave. He met me in uniform, she recalled. He loved it. I still had one year left in my service. After graduation, Gao decided to realize her school dream and become a lawyer by enrolling in the prestigious private college IDC Herzliya. In parallel, she continued to participate in photo shoots for V. Nevera, Gucci, Jaguar Cars, and Captain Morgan. In addition, her photos have graced the covers of FHM, Bride Magazine, Glamour, and Cosmopolitan. In 2007, Godot signed a contract with the Israeli brand Castro and regularly appeared at shows of new collections. And in 2010, the young woman became a participant in the reality show The Beautiful Life. There, six young models fought for a contract with a modeling agency in New York. Studying in college wasn't a success, despite dreams of a career in law. A year after admission, the woman realized that she did not see herself in this field anymore. It didn't go the way she thought it would. If things had gone according to my plans, I'd be a lawyer, Gal said. I never dreamed of being an actress. I don't think it was like a, a, a moment that I had where I was like, I want to work in this industry. Uh, it kind of evolved. So I'm just gonna say, um, when life just happened to me. But during her studies, she realized that her chosen profession did not match her character. Despite her briskness and ability to overcome obstacles, Gal absolutely does not tolerate conflicts. It was precisely this quality that she lacked for her future in law. The thought now of me being a lawyer, she says, her head filled with visions of courtroom soliloquies and miniskirt suits, dealing with conflict all the time, it's not for me. Gal's parents did not support her. Nevertheless, classical family education played a role. First, you need to get a profession, and then make a career. The podium or the stage did not fit into the usual idea of how their daughter's life should be. The actress's family sincerely believed that this was temporary, until the future star got the role that turned her life around. Perhaps Godot would never have become an actress if it hadn't been for chance. A pretty model was noticed by a casting director from England. She invited Gal to try herself in her first audition in Hollywood. That was the role of a James Bond girl in the next film about the legendary spy Quantum of Solace. But Gal didn't like the idea at all. When her manager called her with an offer, the only thing she said was, Listen, it's all in English. I'm not an actress. I'm not going to go. The manager thought that the woman was joking. Who refuses such a chance? Therefore, on the day of the audition, she called Gal again and clarified why she was late. Despite the fact that the young model did not plan to try acting, she was still able to persuade Godot to come at least out of respect. I didn't learn the scenes, and then I got to the room and I told the casting director, I'm not an actress. I wasn't planning on coming here. I apologize for not coming prepared because I'm very professional no matter what I do. She said, well, I'm going to be here for four more hours. Just go through the scenes and I'll guide you through it. Despite the fact that she received calls several times after auditions, the role eventually went to Olga Kurlinko. Despite this, Gal became interested in it. She began working with an acting coach, auditioned in Israel, and even got her first role in the Israeli serial drama Bubit in 2007. And it was then that the future star realized that she had found herself in acting. Moreover, casting in a James Bond movie gave her the feeling that acting was exactly what she needed. As Godot told Interview Magazine, I realize it takes a lot to act, and it's so much more interesting than going to law school. That's why she told her manager to call with any job offer. And then the casting director of James Bond remembered about the young model that became her chance. During the preparation for the filming of the fourth part of Fast and Furious, the young actress was remembered and invited to audition. And that was not a cameo, but one of the main roles, Giselle Yashar. That I know you're tasting cars. Tell me, what about your women? 
Gal not only successfully auditioned for a well-known franchise, but also became the first among her five competitors. Her army experience helped her. A model who can ride a motorcycle and skillfully wield weapons perfectly suited the role of a liaison for a gang of bandits. But life is such a thing. You never know what it'll bring you next, Gal admitted. I play Giselle Yashar, who does this only to help her family. I like my character because I constantly want to learn something new about her. I played a Mossad agent not because I am Israeli. I just fit the role. I think the main reason was that the director really liked that I was in the military, and he wanted to use my knowledge of weapons. The director liked her image so much that Gal's heroine appeared in the next two parts of the racing franchise with the participation of Vin Diesel. You bet. Godot not only has good looks, but also performed all the tricks on her own, deftly jumping from a motorcycle to cars. I want to do even more tricks every time, the actress said in an interview. All of the stunts on Fast and Furious I have done myself. The adrenaline was just incredible, and I enjoyed being able to do the stuff that in real life you can't. But this is not so much an opportunity of profession as a personal way to enjoy the adrenaline of work. I wanted to show that women are empowered and strong and don't have to be saved by some male hero, but they can take care of themselves using their intelligence and their power," Gal Gadot said. The actress believes that the franchise has played a huge role in her career, as well as in shaping the female position in the film industry. Fast and Furious not only took actors from different parts of the world, but also gave actresses the opportunity to fully express themselves. Fast was this very strong, dominant franchise that allowed women to be celebrated, as well as men, and not just sit at the back, literally in the passenger seat. They let them drive, she recalls. In parallel, the personal life of the actress also developed. On the set of the fourth part of Fast and Furious, the actress officially announced her relationship with Israeli businessman Jaron Versano. In September 2008, the couple got married. And three years later, the first girl in the family, Alma, was born. Six years later, the actress gave her husband a second girl, Maya. And in the summer of 2021, a third girl, Daniela, appeared in the family. So nervous about how it's going to be. Then the second one, you worry about the first one, how, how she's going to take it. Then by the third one, you're like, they can they're deal with fine. each other. Come, for sure. Let's enjoy this. And then yeah. you're thinking, I don't know if I'm ever going to have another baby, so I just enjoy I every phase of it's it. It's crazy. The actress is conservative in her personal life. You'll not find information in the media about stormy affairs or personal scandals, and Gal keeps her family away from the public. Photos of her husband and children are rarely found on her Instagram. The actress herself takes motherhood seriously. I am a brave person, and I always like to try new, extreme things, but now when I'm a mother, I have responsibilities, and I've given up on many crazy adventures that can be fatal. I'm a very reserved person in life, although I like to party on set. Gal constantly takes children to shoot and loves her profession very much precisely because it was very friendly to motherhood. You can work for three months, then not work for half a year. That's why the girls take an active part in the filming. They'll come to set, they'll know the director, they'll hand out signs. They are a part of everything that Gal does and they feel valued for it. The family travels a lot and is always together. When I choose a role, I always think about whether my daughter can get something out of it when she watches the movie later after she's grown up or even just show her that mommy's doing what mommy loves to do," she said. And it also has a lot to do with my husband, who is really supportive and makes everything so much easier. At the same time, she admits that the most difficult task for her is to balance her career and children. It's something that is always a handful and my career takes a lot. And of course, my family takes a lot, so finding the balance and always trying to do my best is my biggest thing. Despite the fact that she actively struggles with her perfectionism, the guilt of a working mother is always present. She misses her children at work, and at home she misses her work. Fortunately, Gail argues, the industry is responding more calmly and kindly to working mothers. How do babies react to the fact that mom is a star? Gal usually smiles at this question. It's always weird because to me, they're the stars. She laughs. I'm just their mother. They're starting to recognize it. In 2010, the actress's portfolio was replenished with two works, the thriller Night and Day and the comedy Date Night where she got cameo roles. Despite this, Gal managed to work on the same set with Cameron Diaz and Tom Cruise. She also appeared in a cameo role as the girlfriend of Vincent Chase, played by Adrian Grenier, and the multi-part project Entourage. Gal then returned to the role of Giselle Yashar in Fast Five and Fast and Furious Six. Are we? But I did not forget about my native cinema. Her filmography includes such projects as Asfur, Kathmandu, and one of the main roles in the comedy Kicking Out Shoshana. 
It is very important for Godot to have a choice and choose the roles that she's really interested in. I always said, I'm open. I'm very open to all different genres because I'm a very open-minded girl, but eventually, I told them that I wanted to be able to show the stronger side of women. She admitted. And the efforts of the young actress did not go unnoticed. In April 2012, Shalom Life ranked her fifth in the list of the 50 most talented, intelligent, funny, and beautiful Jewish women in the world, after model Bar Raffaele and actress Ava Green. And in 2014, Godot was one of the two Israeli actresses, along with Hodaya Rush, included in the list of future leading women, according to InStyle magazine. Gao did not forget about the modeling business either. She became the face of international campaigns for Captain Morgan, Gucci fragrances, Vina Vera skincare products, and advertised Jaguar cars. In 2008 to 2016, the actress became the main model of the Castro fashion brand. In addition, she is an ambassador for the perfume brand Gucci Bamboo, Hawaii Smartphones, and Miss 60. The young woman was actively shot and appeared on the covers of Cosmopolitan, Glamour, Bride Maga, Entertainment Weekly, and many others. In 2013, her annual modeling salary was estimated at $700,000, which is an impressive amount among other Israeli models, although it was significantly less than Bar Raffaele's. But there was a lull in the cinema. After the successful role in the franchise, there were no more major projects. Gal constantly went to auditions, but they ended in nothing, and over time, she just got tired of trying. All that was offered to the actress were secondary roles in mediocre movies. In 2015, the actress received one of the supporting roles in the crime drama Triple Nine, but her storyline was written very poorly, and frankly, the role turned out to be weak. You fucking late. You're lucky you get to see him at all. The film was criticized for a lack of depth and diversity, filled with cliches and a good cast at the same time. Not the most successful project with Gal was shared by Casey Affleck, Woody Harrelson, Kate Winslet, and Norman Reedus. Graded very coolly, Triple Nine barely paid off the budget, collecting $23 million at a cost of $20 million. A year later, the situation repeated itself. The fantastic action film Criminal was released on the screens. It gathered a number of star names. Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman, Tommy Lee Jones, Ryan Reynolds, and others starred with Gal. But the picture turned out to be a passing one. Although Ariel Veroman's work was compared to the iconic face-off, it was not in a favorable light. Cheaper, superficial, with an ill-conceived plot, and without obvious dynamics. This was the verdict pronounced by viewers of aggregator sites. To be fair, it wasn't all bad. The performance of the main actors was highly appreciated, including Gal's one. Criminal has an unusually strong cast for a film that might have otherwise gone the VOD route, but even they don't help. Gal Gadot is striking enough, but has even less to do here than she did in that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Peter Subzinski wrote in his review, giving the movie only one star. It's impossible. When she almost gave up, Wonder Woman came into her life. Did she know anything about comics? As a child, in Israel, Godot was too young to watch the TV version of Linda Carter, and she was not a fan of comics, but Godot felt that a superhero movie with a female character would be a turning point for her. According to her, the blockbuster dedicated to this character was belated. People were hungry for her story. And Gao allowed this story to come true. While we're moving on to the next part, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so as not to miss our new videos. And we continue. In March 2016, the audience saw Gal in a new role. The superhero film Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice became the starting point of a new round of the actress's career, giving her the role of Wonder Woman. Initially, the actress tried to enter the DC Comics universe in a completely different image, Catwoman, but failed. She performed well in working with Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, and therefore she was approved for the role of Diana Prince without hesitation. Preparing for the role was not easy. For six months, every day, for six hours, she had to train and build up about 22 pounds of muscles. She needed to be trained in fencing, kickboxing, kung fu, capoeira, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. On Jimmy Kimmel's talk show, Gal admitted that her costume was so tight that she literally couldn't breathe. And someone just told me, just enjoy the ride and be you. She called her role of Diana the most difficult physically and psychologically. But the actress was very pleased with the results of these workouts. Weight gain and physical fitness allowed her to feel her body better, to hold on more confidently. I enjoy the curves. I enjoy the strength. 
the back, the guns. Now I'm aware of my muscles, and I like it. In many ways, because Godot tends to devote herself to work completely. I'm a perfectionist with everything that I do, so wherever I am, I try to give my everything. What empowers me is knowing that I give my best every day, everywhere, and to everyone, she said. Her resilience was not affected by the difficult conditions in which she had to wear the heroine's costume. Filming took place in March at Leavesden Studios, located on the outskirts of London. She had to work in her suit in fairly cold conditions. Despite all the difficulties, Garrow did an excellent job with most of her stunt work. Her performance was named one of the best parts of the film, despite the fact that her role in the picture was small. Oh, I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. You know, it's true what they say about little boys. Born with no natural inclination to share. But it was enough for the black-haired Amazon to win the hearts of viewers and producers. And soon the world was able to see Godot in the image of Diana already in the solo movie, which was released in 2017. The picture told the backstory of her heroine, the warlike princess of the Amazons. The actress did not expect such success. God, who would have thought that I, a girl from a tiny corner of the earth, would end up in America as a super heroine, says Godot. The actress believes that the end result and success of the film was due to the fact that the director was a woman. She's sure that only a woman could see the situation from the inside and convey all the inner struggle and growth of the main character. Plus, working with a female director has become a new positive experience for Gal. It feels like the communication is different. We talk about emotions with Patty Jenkins. It's a thing now. We communicate with her eyes. She doesn't need to say a thing. If I'm hurt, she feels the pain. It's a whole different connection that I have with her, she said. The film, directed by Patty Jenkins, was popular with viewers, grossing more than $820 million worldwide. Critics praised the acting, calling Wonder Woman the best film of the DC Extended Universe. The success at the box office influenced the decision of the Warner Bros. studio about the filming of the sequel that the world saw in 2020. The second part was released on Christmas Day. It became the highest grossing film shown domestically since the beginning of the pandemic. Millions of people streamed it on HBO Max. I think the technical term here is extremely lame. Such a career breakthrough also affected Gal's income. If her salary for the first film was only $300,000, for which Gal was extremely grateful, then with the second part, her demands increased. It's reported that during the subsequent filming, she earned more than 30 times more the first salary. The popularity of the film and the heroine herself gave her courage. If you look at it like a card game, my hand got better. I was willing to drop the ball and not do it if I wasn't paid fairly, she explained. For many, her role became a kind of feminist manifesto, and many women saw her character as a role model. But for Gal herself, Wonder Woman became an opportunity to declare her principles and worldview to the whole world. I'm so excited about this role. I feel like I've been given a huge opportunity to inspire people, not only women. And not because of me, but because of who Wonder Woman is and what she stands for. There's a lot of responsibility. The actress considers herself a feminist and willingly talks about equality of rights between a man and a woman. I'm doing what I want to do because of the women before me who laid the groundwork. Without them, I wouldn't be an educated working mother who is following her dreams, she explained. And in this context, the role of Wonder Woman has become very important. Godot explains that it was important to show how independent she, her character, is. She's not relying on a man, and she's not there because of a love story. The princesses that all the girls are used to seeing always fall asleep, and then the prince is the one to wake them up, and they do nothing. I feel that I've got the opportunity to set a great role model for girls. In most films, the main superheroes are men. We have Superman, Batman, and many others. But Wonder Woman has not been there yet. The actress reprised her role a few months later during the filming of Justice League alongside Ben Affleck as Batman and Jason Momoa as Aquaman. The movie became a crossover that united popular comic book characters in one team. Although this blockbuster was not as successful as Godot's separate release, she took the third place in the ranking of the highest grossing artist of the year. Projects with her participation brought their creators $1.4 billion. But not everything was smooth. During the filming of Justice League, the actress had to face the abuse of the director of the movie, Joss Whedon. So the actress admitted that the director insulted her when she expressed concern about the dialogues and aggressiveness of her character. He also threatened her career if she made public what happened. Godot said on Israeli TV in May that Whedon kind of threatened my career and said if I did something, 
he would make my career miserable. According to an insider of The Hollywood Reporter, Joss was bragging that he's had it out with Gal. He told her he's the writer and she's going to shut up and say the lines and he can make her look incredibly stupid in this movie. Bring him back to life. The Kryptonian ship has an amniotic chamber, which would be a perfect... No. Godot did not leave everything as it is and was able to show righteous anger. I was shaking trees as soon as it happened, and I must say that the heads of Warner Brothers, they took care of it. She explained. She was confident that such behavior was the norm for Whedon, not only in relation to the star of Wonder Woman. A meeting of both sides was organized in conjunction with the studio, where Warner Bros. Studios sided with the actress. I just did what I felt like I had to do, and it was to tell people that it's not okay, Godot said. Her friend and partner in the movie Wonder Woman 1984, Kristen Wiig, notes that Godot is not afraid to defend her interests. When she needs to wear that hat, she's very clear on what is right. People who think she's just a pretty face are dead wrong, Wig said of the actress. A badass woman is someone who's confident and just owning her voice. She has a strong center. But not by a superhero alone. Gao did not miss the opportunity to prove herself in the comedy genre. According to the actress, she loves comedy films very much and always likes to laugh, even at herself. I love comedy. In real life, I'm the type of girl who doesn't take herself too seriously. I'm very serious when it comes to work, but I like to make jokes and have a good laugh and make fun of myself. In 2016, the comedy thriller Keeping Up with the Joneses was released starring Zach Galifianakis, Isla Fisher, and John Hamm, in addition to Gal. The performance of the main cast was praised again, but the picture was criticized as a whole for its cliché, for its predictable plot, and for the lack of humor in the comedy. Gal Gadot is so beautiful in the movie that she could have just done nothing at all, commented one of the Rotten Tomato users, and it's hard to disagree with him. But keeping up with the Joneses didn't even pay off the production budget, collecting almost $30 million at a cost of $40 million. In 2017, the actress starred in the website developer Wix's promotional video for the Super Bowl. She was accompanied by Jason Statham, with whom Godot was able to practice her hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. In the same year, an unpleasant story happened. Hackers hacked the actress's phone and posted a personal video on the net. There, Gal was almost naked to the waist, wearing only underwear. But Godot took this situation with dignity. She's not embarrassed by her own body. Therefore, the leaked video did not provoke a huge scandal, as happens with other stars. In fairness, there is nothing to be ashamed of the model. She has podium parameters. Her height is 5.84 feet and her weight is 110 pounds. The star began to improve her figure in her youth. She even resorted to breast surgery using fillers on the advice of her agent. Later, fans noticed that Gano's nose shape had changed, although the actress denies rhinoplasty. According to Gal, the right attitude to her body helps her a lot in supporting her figure. I work out a lot. I try to have the healthiest diet that I can possibly have, especially when I'm filming Wonder Woman in different types of movies. I do believe that our bodies are temples, and we should treat it this way. Gal often emphasizes the advantages of the figure with bright outfits. However, she does not disdain photos at home, without makeup, and in ordinary clothes. In 2018, Godot received an offer from the organizers of the International Eurovision Song Contest to become a presenter, but she refused, referring to a busy schedule. At the same time, she can often be found at significant Hollywood events. So, the actress wasn't an Oscar 2020 nominee, but arrived at the awards ceremony. There, she had to present a statuette to one of the contenders for the award. The actress walked the red carpet in a spectacular outfit, a Givenchy Haute Couture dress consisting of a pink skirt and a black lace top. In 2018, Time magazine included Godot among the 100 most influential people in the world, and soon fans of the actress saw her in the video for the Maroon 5 song, Girls Like You, featuring Cardi B. The way to gain a foothold in the Dream Factory was the founding of her own production company together with her husband, Jaron Varsano, in 2019. Get a job as an actress. I got that in Israel. Then it was, get a job as an actress in America. Then, get a meaningful role. Now, it's to tell stories that are meaningful for me, but also to develop our own thing. I want our production company, Pilot Wave, to be solid and to use that to control my career destiny as far as I can. By the way, due to her service in the Israeli army as well as Godot's active support for Israel, her films are banned in many Arab countries that support Palestine. 
And what actress's movie is the most iconic for you after Wonder Woman? Write your opinion in the comments. In recent years, Gal has been actively trying to realize herself in various fields business, cinema, and socially significant activities. In 2020, the actress was named ambassador of the Smartwater brand, replacing Jennifer Aniston in this status. In March of the same year, in the company of other celebrities, she performed an online version of John Lennon's song Imagine that was aimed at raising morale in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. But many criticized the video, ridiculing the participants for their allegedly bad voices and complacency. Despite such an incident, this did not prevent Godot from becoming the third highest paid actress in the world, according to Forbes magazine. So, Gal's annual income consisted of $31.5 million, including a $20 million fee for filming the action comedy Red Notice, starring Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson. The actress changed the usual positive role. In the story, Godot played a thief of rarities who was being tracked down and caught by an FBI agent and a con man who have become partners by the will of fate. Arrest me. I just want the egg. Sometimes. She had to face off with her colleagues in a niche that she was not familiar with yet. But Gal successfully coped with this and even received recognition from her colleagues on the set. Their co-star, Ryan Reynolds, confirms she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with pretty much anybody, even a skin-covered mountain like Dwayne Johnson. The role affords her some comedic moments, too. Gal is incredibly adept at comedy. Reynolds says she can go big when she needs to. She can reel it in when she needs to. The film directed by Ross and Thurber even before the premiere gained fame as Netflix's most expensive project. According to rumors, up to $200 million was spent on the production of the film. On the day of its release, the movie broke the record for views on a popular service and became a disappointment. Critics agreed that Red Notice was a failure in 2021. Among the main disadvantages of the picture were the cliched plot and the superficial acting of the main characters. Everything about the film is surface level. The script, the mystery, and the directing. The contrived twist and double crosses invoke indifference rather than a specific visceral reaction. The three megastars carry the entire film on their shoulders and end up buried alive under the weight of it all, a reporter from Deadline wrote. Red Notice plays like a parody of itself, a star-studded, globe-trotting heist caper replete with MacGuffins, twists, and double-crosses. The idea of stars like Dwayne Johnson, Gal Gadot, and Ryan Reynolds running around in glamorous evening wear and boosting valuable doodads from historic locales is one of the fundamental cornerstones of cinema. The Rap wrote, Ordinary viewers did not agree with this view. Therefore, for Netflix, the picture became a commercial hit and the most watched film in the first 28 days after its release. It also entered the top 10 Netflix films among 94 countries. For this reason, the company is considering the possibility of filming two sequels of Red Notice, especially against the background of increasing demand for the action genre among its viewers. During a conversation with Collider, the actress admitted that she had already seen the script of the second part and was delighted with it. We're all talking about it. I don't know if I can say anything. I already read the second script and it's... Whew, we're all very excited about it. At the moment, we only know that filming is planned in the near future, with the participation of both Reynolds and Johnson. We hope that soon we will be able to watch a preview of the adventures of the famous three stars. In 2022, Gal appeared in the detective drama Death on the Nile, starring Kenneth Branagh. He was also a director. Branagh's attempt to create a series of films about the famous detective received very mixed reviews. The story of the original novel was simplified to the limit, and the characters got motivated from the air. According to Agatha Christie fans, the picture threw out more than half of the original story, which led to the predictability of the plot. Everything was criticized. The production, the development of the heroes, and the game of the main characters. Why did this happen? Problems during the production of the film may have affected... The release was originally planned for 2019, but due to delays in the filming process, the release was postponed to 2020. But then the COVID-19 and the scandal with one of the main performers, Army Hammer, failed. As a result, the world got acquainted with the movie three years after the start of work on it. In addition, to reduce the cost of the cast, the plot was greatly simplified. The characters were combined or completely changed, which in the end only hurt the detective story. I wish we'd gone home, like you said. I don't feel safe here. In addition to working in the film industry, the actress is exploring new horizons and conquering the world of healthy eating by becoming the founding partner of healthier mac and cheese company, Goodles. 
The actress admits that she loves macaroni and cheese very much. Ever since childhood, when her uncle and aunt came from America and brought a bag filled with boxes of mac and cheese, which were not in Israel. Everything. It's comforting food, says Godot. It's salty. It has sweetness to it. Everything about mac and cheese is happy. It makes me happy. I've been loving it since forever, really. How did the popular actress get into the macaroni and cheese brand? A few years before the creation of Goodles, she met with Jen Zesut, the CEO of the company, to discuss another project. But Zesut's business proposal did not suit her. They agreed on one thing, the love of both women for macaroni and cheese. After a while, Jen called Godot again and told her about the new idea. So first of all, of course, I was in because it's something that I love so much, but not just because of my plain passion for the product, but also because of the peoples involved. Yeah, we're called. As a founding partner, Godot is involved in the day-to-day -day work of Goodles from relationships with retailers, the press and media, shoppers, brand building and business development to fundraising. She also finds time to shoot content. She makes some funny videos about tasting Goodles products on her official Instagram page so that almost 80 million loyal followers will know about them. Commenting on the actress's involvement in business, Zesset said, Gal is just like the rest of us, super hardworking, coming up with ideas for the business and the brand constantly. She's incredibly involved and committed. In addition, the actress puts Goodles boxes in her children's lunch boxes in school. She believes that this is a way to maintain a healthy and nutritious diet for her daughters. They absolutely love it. They ask for it. And I don't feel bad as a mother because it's so important for all of us to make sure that our kids are being fed the right way. She admitted. This was the first time for Gal when she participated in the full development from scratch to the final product. Despite the long and difficult path of preparation, the actress calls it very exciting. The team had over a thousand recipes that were tested and screened out to find the best. It was important for the star to do everything right and find a team that would allow her to work with them to make a new startup fun and positive. We wanted to make something that is better, that has more nutrition, that has more protein, that has more vegetables in it. We wanted to make sure that we have a clean label, she recalled. So we wanted to make sure that once we launched, we do it the right way. After a short break from work, Gal focused on new projects that should see the world starting in 2023. As before, she's trying to achieve success outside of film franchises and gain recognition as a versatile actress, but unfortunately, so far, without much success. Among them is the spy thriller Heart of Stone, already released on Netflix, as well as the dramatic detective In the Hand of Dante, where the actress shared the set with Jason Momoa, Gerard Butler, Oscar Isaac, and Al Pacino. In Heart of Stone, she will again have to show her physical abilities. This time, she has the role of an agent of the International Security Intelligence Service, Rachel Stone. She's tasked with a mission to prevent a mysterious MacGuffin, the heart, from getting into the wrong hands. Director Tom Harper likened Godot's lead character in Heart of Stone to a female version of James Bond. In addition to the main role, Gal took the place of co-producer of the film with her company Pilot Wave. I like, um, like some spice to it, but I'm, I'm not strong on spicy food. Well, today you will be. Are you oh, ready yes. to get started? Uh, yes, I'm too nervous, so let's just uh, start it. It was very important for Gal that the main roles in the film went to women. And in addition to Godot, there are Sophie Okonedo, Ali Abad, and Jing Lucy, all of whom are central to the action and have prominent roles and responsibilities. At the same time, despite the obvious resemblance to James Bond, it was important for the actress that the main female roles were not copies of the male ones. There are so many scripts that I get offered personally where they say, let's just swap the man for a woman. With this, it was a real no to that. She explains, We wanted to build a really strong character who is a woman, telling the story from her perspective, a female perspective. So many things were informed by the fact she is a woman want this to be another Wonder Woman film, so the whole idea was to create um, a film that would be grounded and the action would be raw and dynamic and like when she gets the hit, you feel the pain with her. Um, so it's a lot different and we had to work out and train and prep for months before even filming this film. Godot claims that it was the success of Wonder Woman that gave her the confidence to realize the genre of female action films. Having grown up on James Bond films, Die Hard, Mission Impossible, and the Bourne franchise, the actress wanted to embody her own ideas in a familiar and beloved genre. As in Wonder Woman, she tried to do all the tricks on her own, training a lot in a wind tunnel. What I can do as an actor, I'll always go for it and fight with intention and really perform that, she says. 
can hold them off without us, right? According to a preliminary critical assessment, Heart of Stone received even worse reviews than Red Notice. The picture did not have a large star cast and relied entirely on Godot's popularity. But in the end, it earned a bad critical rating of 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. The website's consensus reads, Gal Gadot remains an entertaining action star, but she's no match for Heart of Stone's thinly written characters, generic plot, and rote set pieces. Despite not the greatest success, the film brought Gal the opportunity to get a new experience, to work with her husband. After the success of Wonder Woman, they both caught fire with the idea of trying to make a spy movie with a woman in the title role. Sharon Varsano has always supported her in acting, from the very beginning of her career. The actress is sure that it is thanks to her husband's support that she is now where she is. He was the one to give me the courage to do it, to travel with me. Godot, who was originally a dancer, told Flaunt, He's the dreamer. He's the kite that will reach out to the sky, whereas I'm the root, the tree that the kite is connected to. Farsana became a co-producer of Heart of Stone in their joint production company and helped Godot realize herself in this part of the film industry. What is the secret of their harmonious cooperation? It's about leaving the ego behind, the actress believes, and accepting that your partner may be better in some other areas and compensate for your own weaknesses. I think our biggest thing is once we agreed to disagree, it kind of took all the tension away because he has his own point of view, I have my own, and it's okay if we don't think the same," she said. In addition to the action films, Gal plans to try herself in a new role in the Disney film Snow White where she got the role of the Evil Queen, which the actress is delighted with. I love it. It's fun. I get to do something different. I get to sing and I get to dance and I get to play the villain, which is something that I've never done before. And it's the first Disney villain ever. It's just a great experience and I really, really enjoy it. And the Evil Queen is very evil. So it's going to be interesting. In the future, she'll work with her production company on a film about Cleopatra. The Queen of Egypt was an icon for her, even when Gal was little and growing up in the Middle East. Despite the fact that there are currently a lot of films about Cleopatra, Godot wants to portray the Queen in the real way, where it celebrates who she was. Unlike the original 1963 version, which was created by a group of men, Gal intends to show a different look, exclusively female. Despite the global goal, she's in no hurry to work on this project. It's a big task. I don't want to rush making it. It's something that needs so much thought and care because it's Cleopatra. We're not rushing ourselves because you have to be responsible when you deal with such an incredible, iconic, legendary woman," she explained. She's also producing and starring in a limited series about Hedy Lamarr for Apple TV. It chronicles the lesser-known role of the old Hollywood star as an inventor. In an era where women weren't really allowed to wear pants, she not only wore pants, but she invented things the actress said about her character. In addition, there are various rumors about the release of Wonder Woman 3. Due to changes within DC Studios and the departure of Patty Jenkins from the project, it has been suggested that the continuation of the Amazon story is in question. But Gal claims that she and her new bosses, James Gunn and Peter Safran, are already working on the idea of a new film. I love portraying Wonder Woman, Udo said when asked about the third movie. It's so close to and dear to my heart. From what I heard from James and from Peter is that we're going to develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. Gal, like many Israelis, experienced a powerful shock from the tragedy of October 7th, 2023, when Hamas launched an attack on Israel. She actively posted videos with victims on Instagram, encouraging people to participate in fundraising. In the spring of 2024, it became known that Gal became a mother for the fourth time. The couple decided to name their daughter Ori which means my light in Hebrew. According to the actress, Ori brought a lot of light to their lives. My sweet girl, welcome, Gal wrote on Instagram. The pregnancy was not easy and we made it through. Not so long ago, Gal participated in a charity project related to the tragic history of her family. Director Steven Spielberg and his Righteous Persons Foundation narrated a video that visitors to the Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial and Museum in Poland would hear on their arrival. It was very exciting for the actress, but it is important to pay tribute to the memory of the relatives who survived the concentration camp. I was thinking about my grandfather, almost 80 years ago, being a teenager in this death camp. I wish someone could have whispered in his ear at the time that his granddaughter would be there, 80 years later, recounting what happened. It got me so emotional, just the full circle moment of it. I spoke to my mom and she started crying. Gal Gadot is clearly not going to stop there. She tries not to stay in one role for long, constantly exploring new horizons. We try to keep up too. 
On our channel, you can find a lot of interesting information about the stars, which will provide you with more than one cozy and informative evening. Click on the video that appears on your screen and watch. And we're saying goodbye to you. The biographer team will be back soon with a new video. See ya.